and greetings gamers and welcome to this um, a little guide I'm setting up on um, anyone who might want to become a let's player or has a few questions on it or is a bit confused about the various aspects uh, here's hoping this guide will sort you out so uh, let's get it on first of all uh, I just want to uh, quote unquote apologize to uh, John who um, is making uh, one of these guides himself. Uh, no no disrespect or anything, you, your guides are really good. I might more than likely repeat what you've said uh, because uh, yeah, you made some very good points and um, yeah, I just feel that there were a few things I would like to add, stuff like that. So um, here we go. Number one is setting up the channel. Now, what I mean by setting up the channel is your YouTube persona. So it's just me, it's Mr. British Gamer. Now, what you know about this name already is that I'm a man, I play games, and I'm British. Direct to the point, and it sort of establishes who I am. This is what you sort of want with your name. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can call yourself Cuckoo for Cuckoo Puffs, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The main aspects for your name is the catchier it is, or the more memorable, appropriate it is for you, the better it will be, the more it will stick in people's heads. And if people know your name, they can spread the word about you. It's word of mouth, yeah, it's pretty much all you got in this business. Um... Now, once you have a name, though, be sure to spell it properly. Now, what I mean by this is um, a lot of YouTube people out there, uh, look, many successful ones to boot, but um, they have this little thing which makes it harder for people to track them down. Um, and that's putting numbers in their name, uh, like putting a, a zero instead of an O or one instead of an I, stuff like that, where you, you know you may call yourself um, uh, I don't know uh, Tony, uh, Tony the Tiger, for example, and replace the I with a one and the O with a zero, but you call yourself Tony the Tiger. If like people type Tony the Tiger, they're just gonna get some Kellogg's ads. You know what I mean? They're not gonna find you because your name is set up. As T, zero, N, Y, bloody, bloody, blah, blah. So avoid doing that at all cost, and don't spell your name weirdly in some sort of weird manner, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> um, right. So that's it about your name. Once you've got your name, seriously take your time. It's one of the most important aspects. Really, it's, I would call, not the most important aspect, obviously sort of need some stuff behind it, but seriously, it's a good place to start, it's the easiest thing to do, just take five minutes to an hour, brainstorm a little, you'll come up with something, trust me. Now, um, something that people do for their channel, uh, not every Let's Player does this, but uh, even I've done it I did it quite early on, but I've revamped it recently, for those who keep an eye on. And that's a personalized background. That's when people go to your channel, uh, they see a background. That's not some sort of copy pasted image that's repeated 50 times. If you have this, you're going to lose subscribers. Basically, people, um, they want something that looks semi-professional. <laughs> I mean... In all honesty, get some thing of a game you're let's playing, get a, gr a screensaver of that, screensaver, uh, desktop background image, whatever, and, I don't know, edit it a bit in paint so it looks a bit better, or however you want to put it, and just use that. In all honesty, that's all you need. Um, just uh, avoid it looking amateurish. And when I say that, I don't mean, I mean, my, my shit looks way amateurish. It used to look a lot worse than it does now, in my opinion. I really like the new one I made. I'm just tooting my own horn now. But, um, yeah, make sure it, it, it fits you. 
fits the personality. And another thing to that comes into play with that is the color scheme you use in your channel. Such as uh, for me, it's the red, white, and blue, sort of with the British flag going on. You see what I mean? So um, it's, you have to you have to strike a balance. I mean, you can have an all you can be emo, dark dude, Sith Lord, whatever, and have like a red and black sort of motif going. Um, bear in mind if you have like thin red lettering on a black backdrop, it's gonna it hurts people's eyes. Okay, and they won't. You have to draw people in. It has to be not necessarily a friendly place to be. I mean, God knows the amount of people that ignore my channel. Good Lord. Most people will, okay? That's the truth of it. But it's always nice to have a nice uh, nice homepage. It's a... Uh, uh, let me put it this way. Say... Oh, forget that. I, I just made an analogy that was so bad. Uh, basi okay, I'll say it anyway, but never mind. Basically, your homepage is your garden, and your let's plays are the various things you grow in your garden, be it flowers, vegetables, whatever. Now, you can have the best vegetables and flowers in the world, but if the garden looks like crap, people won't want to come and see, eat, and look at your various vegetable flowers. Actually, that analogy isn't that bad, is it? <laughs> And the same is true if, you know, you can have an impeccable garden, aka your homepage may look fabulous, I mean like professional up the ass, but if your potatoes taste like shite, no one's gonna come around to your house, alright? So, uh, you have to strike a bat. I mean, obviously, uh, let's playing, uh, I'm gonna talk about that in the later chapter. But for now, just set all this up, once you got your YouTube persona going, I mean, if you have questions, post them. I'm glad I'm here to help. In all honesty, this is the thing. <laughs> um, and last but not least, um, just I have notes. <laughs> Thank God you can't see me do this. Um, okay, I seem to have written unique, suitable, and flavorful. You need to be flavorful. What the fuck passed me? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Suppose it's, you know, get a name that's a channel that matches your personality. I mean, obviously, you can't be a, a peppy schoolgirl and uh, talk about, you know, a seven year old girl and talk seriously about Shakespeare. People won't take you seriously. You might be the most expert person, you might know Hamlet by heart. Kudos if you do. But people, <laughs> it's the sort of. Um, it's a sort of test where you have, if you have a builder who's smoking a cigarette and a builder who's smoking a pipe, you're going to ask the guy who's smoking a pipe. He just, it's the look. It's all, it's image. And that's what all this part is. This part is about image. Image and persona. So, um, hope I've made sense in this rambling. And, um, yeah, so that concludes part one, the channel. Tune in to part two where I'll discuss, um... The equipment you might need to let's play and uh, should you let's play PC games over console games and why should do one and not the other, why is one better, etc, etc. So um, yeah, wait for that, should be up in a second, <laughs> probably, I don't know.